Hey, welcome to my channel where I'm building a Rans S21. It's January 4th, 2024, and I've been building the plane for just about two years now, and I'm really ready to get the plane flying this year. Uh, that's going to require a little heavier build schedule than I've had in the past, but I'm, I'm ready to get it done. In this episode, I continue with the closeout of the interior. I do some side panels, some covers, and clean up a little more wiring. Uh, I think I start with doing the flap handle cover. So with that, let's jump in and get building. Okay, the, uh, the next thing I'm going to do are the, is the uh, flap lever closeout or cover. And these are uh, plastic parts that have to be trimmed. There is uh, some direction on this in the manual. They show the flap covers back on the flap handle installation pages. And if you look at these flap covers, They've got a very faint line that looks like they're supposed to be trimmed there. Uh, but as with most flat part pieces, trim conservatively and then go back and trim more if you need to. I'm going to use my Dremel with a small cutoff blade. It's the smallest one I've got. Uh, I think it'll make a good blade for cutting through plastic. I had a little difficulty seeing the line, so I took a, a fine point Sharpie and filled in the cut line. Okay, the uh, the cutting went well. I've just got some tape on there to kind of hold the two pieces together. They're pretty close. I used a, uh, a hand file just to cut off the burrs and stuff, a little bit of melting, but the, it, it cleaned up pretty well and it filed pretty well. Okay, it looks like the next step is to PVC glue this strip uh, underneath portions of this and what I can looks like from the diagram, it looks like you've got a piece here, a piece here, and then a little piece here. And they're going to glue underneath. And then it looks like this half comes across. And when they attach, you're going to put the screws down through this half and this strip that you've glued underneath the, the cover. So I'm going to cut this into lengths. It says to modify it. And put one here, one here, one here. Glue it, clamp it, and see how it comes together. Okay, I, I did glue it using some uh, PVC primer and PVC glue. It did come together with the flap. Then it says to put these number four pan head screws in. There's seven of them. Looks like five, and then one in the front, and then one here. So I, I took my file and my Dremel, and I tried to trim this as smooth as possible and get these close as I could. Drilled my holes, got my five in there, one there, and one up there. So I think that's pulled together. I'm going to use some um, GB Weld and see if I get a little gap here, see if I can fill that in before I paint it. Uh, but with this now, I think it's ready for prime and paint. That's about as good as my skill set's going to be in here. Okay, more, more close-up cutting pieces. Next thing I'm going to do is this um, rudder cover, rudder cable cover. Uh, there's a diagram here that just shows it cut out. So I'm just going to copy it. I've drawn some lines along here. I'll cut it a little conservatively to start and then uh, trim it up. Okay, I've uh, cut it out basically to shape. And then I've seen some videos where they cut a U out of here. Uh, and that's so it'll go over those cables as it comes down. So what I did is I measured the location of the cables and kind of measured the height of the cable and I'll start the trim there. I also saw where someone left a little tab here to go up underneath here and I thought that was a pretty good trick. So I'm going to cut it a little low and then shape it so the little tab goes underneath. Okay, uh, I've got it trimmed pretty well. Uh, what I realized in the cut though is that this... Um, has got to go a little further, which is what I anticipated. But also, these little lips along here, they've got to be pretty flush. I didn't want to cut away all the support, but they've got to be pretty tight here to fit flush onto the pieces. So I'm going to trim a little more here. Okay, I've trimmed the rudder cable cover. These little tabs down here had to get trimmed up, and then it fit in. This actually goes underneath these closeout pieces. But I've got it positioned, and I kind of measured it between the cables here. So I think that's a good fit. 
I put the uh, Tinnermans on and then just drilled to number 40s and clear coat it in. When I take the whole thing out, I'll drill it up to the pan, head, uh, the pan head screw size. But this is just to get this kind of set in the right place. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna secure the front of this. Uh, it's gotta come up just a little bit. I drew a line because I don't want it to interfere with the cable under here. So I'm gonna pull it up and tack it down here. And then I'll work on this center piece. I put three number 40 Clicos in here for the number six pan head screws. He's a little bit smaller. Now, just to be uh, careful, there's a cage bar that comes across. I measured it 10 inches in from the edge. So the first two are in here. That cage bar is right about here, just inside of the yoke. And the third one is out here. So they're not perfectly centered, but I didn't want to hit that cage bar with one of the screws. There actually is some uh, diagram pages for that rudder cover. It's up pretty far in the manual. It's uh, uh, 10L08A and B. And it shows the installation of that rudder cover. This is the uh, rudder cable closeout piece. And it attaches to the floor using an angle bracket. Um, this is going to get tinnermined into the bottom here and then this is going to get riveted into the floor of the uh, underneath the rudder cables. I've marked the lines where that uh, cover's got to go. The cover's got to come out just a little bit so it doesn't interfere with the cables. So when you set the lines up, it's fairly flexible. You do want to pull it out and away from the cable so it's going to get clearance. Um, and then those, those angle strips are just going to get laid in here and then the cover goes on and gets Tinnerman screwed uh, into the side. As I lay this cover piece in, I've got those lines marked outside the cables, but if you notice, there are these rudder, rudder pedal brackets coming off here. You've got to make sure that this, when it's on the lines, that it's out far enough that it doesn't come in contact with those uh, pedal brackets underneath. Okay, I've got my support brackets put in here. They're clicoed in with 40s. And I've made sure I put the cover on and I made sure there's clearance between these uh, rudder brackets, make sure there's no rubbing interference, and that seems fine. So the next step is to determine the holes here for the cover. I don't know if I'm gonna use Tinnermans similar to here or whether I'm gonna put nut plates in. I guess I'm gonna make that decision um, and figure out which way I'm gonna go with it. I did decide to go with the nut screws on these rather than the tenements. They seemed like a, a more permanent installation. I did not use, I used the 332nd rivets, not the flush rivets. Uh, they're fairly flush as is. I mean, they're, they're as flush as a tenement might be to the material. So I did not have flush rivets, so I just used the round head. But on the 332nd, they're pretty flat and I use the number eight screw size rather than the number six. So these are a little bit bigger, and I'll probably put some Loctite on that when I put those screws in there. Um, and I'll do the same to the other three pieces and install my center console cover. Okay, I've got this uh, center um, cover in, the one that goes over the rudder cables. I don't have it permanently screwed in. I'm just holding there because this will come off a couple more times, I'm sure. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint or I'm prime and paint my closeout pieces and then do the final install on them. I decided to uh, paint and prime the uh, aft closeout as well. Uh, so this is me sanding it down and prepping it and we'll prime it and paint it with the other parts of the closeout. Okay, I am uh, spray painting some of those parts. I've already primed them, resanded, it, cleaned. And my aft closeout. I don't know if the sun is as bad as uh, what it looks like, but this is my, my sophisticated paint booth. Works for small stuff. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change out this cigarette lighter adapter. Uh, if you remember, uh, the one I installed, it didn't say anything on the package, but when I plugged it in to test it, it's got a blue LED light that's on 24 7. And pretty stupid for, for a DC item that's probably connected to a battery that's going to run because if you let it sit for a month 
um, it's gonna it's gonna drain the battery so I did order another one I checked confirmed it doesn't have an LED light so I'm gonna change out uh, this light cigarette lighter adapter for a new one without a LED light okay I've got the new cigarette lighter in without the blue LED light um, so that's in I've got to hook the wire up but now I've got a, the closeout back here. I've got to clean this up. There's a closeout panel that goes in here, and I got to clean up these wires going back. Uh, so that's that's my next step. Is okay, I'm I'm running the wires down and kind of cutting out some of this aft closeout section. And looking at where I ran the wires down the sides, I've got to finish them up. I'm just tying them right now, just to like figure out where they go. There were some nice openings in the center of this closeout section and I've seen others bring the wires from the front down this middle section rather than along here. My problem along here is trying to get this tied up and away from the, the aft closeout. Um, I guess there's a couple different ways to do it but if in hindsight I probably would have brought a lot of it down this middle section and had it go through here to get to the aft and then run back here. Um, but I'm just working on it now, a little bit of shaping of this, and I think we'll have it closed out fine. I don't know, I'm kind of making this up as I go along. Uh, not a lot of directions on this, so I'm moving forward with kind of two objectives. One, to keep the wiring away from the aileron cables, and then also keep them away from the rudder cables. So I'm just using a combination of C-clamps. Here's a double C-clamp here with a bracket on it to change directions. Uh, over here I've kind of C-clamped them in here. And then I'm also using zip ties. This is a lot of the extra wiring from the harness company but I couldn't cut it because it went to the the nine pin connectors. So I just tightened it up, tried to zip tie it, made it so it's, it's pretty secure, won't be moving around, and is away from the cables. So I'm I'm hoping this is the right way to do it. It seems intuitive just to kind of lock it in there, but uh, that's how I've decided to, to kind of secure my wires. So now when I put my closeout piece in, you can see I actually had to trim this. This will be tightened up in here. Uh, this one is secured down here that goes through there. This one you can see is tied up over here and goes through that one over there and I'm going to put rubber edging on all these edges uh, just to give it extra abrasion, abrasion protection and then I'm going to paint my clothes out but that's that's kind of how I done the wire and then these will be all tucked behind the floorboard so the floor will go here so there won't be any exposure to it and they're all locked in here pretty tight so I, I then I'll have the hatch for my battery on the floorboard to get access to the battery and this fuse is for the cigarette lighter, cigarette lighter adapter. Um, and that should be good to go. Well, that's probably a good place to end the video here. Um, I've got a few more small items to do to finish the closeout of the interior. And then I start mounting the motor, which is a pretty exciting part of the build. Uh, that section took me 19.6 hours which brings my build to date to 983 hours. And I look forward to getting the next video out. So with that, thanks very much for watching. And remember, dream it and just build it.